All right, well, today I'm going to be doing, painting, it's what Bob Ross would always like to call happy trees, but I'm not going to call them that, I'm just going to call them trees, so I won't get too obnoxious. Uh, went out and got myself the weapon of choice, the fan brush. I already got some paint on this sucker, and colors I'm using are... Uh, well, I guess that would be Flato Green. That's one color. And a little bit of black to darken it up, so uh, that's kind of what I'm working with here. What I'm going to do is paint some really small, distant trees in the background using the fan brush, and that's going to be kind of awkward, actually. I'm trying to get in here without... Uh, Without nuking my track, that's what I think I'll do. Before I'll get started, I'll get paint all over my track or my road bed. So I'm just gonna cover it up. So I'm just gonna use the uh, just use the edge of the brush for these smaller distant trees. What I'll do is I'll mist them over. Just some in the background here. They don't have to be very distinct. Just roughly conical shaped. Look like that. Kind of look like a little bit of a teepee. But, you know, I just want to indicate that there are trees back here in the distance. Bigger. And for the most part, a lot of these little trees will be hidden. So I'll mist over and I'm going to put bigger trees in front of them and stuff like that. But, uh, some of this ridge showing up above over that and I'll put a, a couple of taller trees like taller trees right here cluster them so you still get a view of the back what's going on there bottom edge here a little bit with fan brush to indicate either trees that are further in the distance or just a little round cover just like that so once I give this a shot of mist over that and then put bigger trees in front of it kind of get a better idea what's uh, what's going on here 